Hi, welcome back to our Easy Recipe Cooking Series. The focus of this series involves really just basically two pieces of cooking equipment. One is a skillet or on your stove, and the second is a toaster oven. This is a quick and I think really nice light recipe that I hope you enjoy. First part of this recipe is a, a crunchy apple salad. And I bought at the store, uh, it's kind of a mix of different grains. It's got some spinach and arugula and different greens. It's pretty much whatever you want. Just a mixed green salad will, will work for this. And then what we're gonna do is make the salad dressing. So this is again a, a vinaigrette, which we're going to take our, um, three spoons of, three tablespoons of olive oil. Put that into the thing there. Three tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're gonna, uh, we have a kiwi vinegar, but again, you can use just about any type of vinegar you want. You could use apple cider vinegar, red wine vinegar, champagne vinegar, whatever, whatever you happen to have will work just fine. Whatever flavor profile you like. So I have a kiwi vinegar, which is kind of unusual, so I'm gonna put two spoons of that in there. And then our liaison, like we did on the last one, to bind it together is a spoon of uh, French mustard. And then basically we just stir that up and then that's gonna to bind together and make a nice dressing. Okay, the other thing that I'm gonna to add to this is, uh, is some lemon zest. I have a zester here, so I'm gonna put some lemon zest in the dressing. A little bit of that on there. And add a little bit of lemon flavor, and I'm going to add a little bit of the zest also into the salad itself. So we have a nice lemon there. Okay. So then the next part of this recipe is I'm going to get our apple here. I'm going to cut some, we have some nice Virginia Granny Smith apples that I'm going to cut. Here, and we're going to cut them into matchstick shape, our apples. Cut these like this. So out of that one apple, as you can see, I cut these matchstick shape size, and there, there's plenty there for what we need. So we have our greens here. So now our saute pan is heating up. The word saute in French means to jump, and that means the oil jumps. So you want to make sure that the that whenever you're sauteing items, whatever it is, you want to make sure you've got a nice sizzle and that that sizzle continues on. Because if you're not, it's not sizzling, then essentially you're boiling it and that's not what you want. It's not going to be anywhere the way it needs to be. There's olive oil in the saute pan and I'm going to start putting the scallops into the pan. You can hear it sizzle as I put those in there. And you want to do it clockwise so you remember which one that you put in first. So you can flip that one over first. And then that's gonna sit in there and that's gonna sear one side. You're gonna go about two to three minutes on each side on there. So I've turned the scallops over here and now as you can see there, they were cooked to, to a golden brown on the one side. Now we've turned them over and we're cooking them to golden brown on the opposite side for a few minutes. Again, the, it's a medium high heat with olive oil in the bottom and the scallops have been seasoned with salt and pepper. Okay, so I've removed the scallops from the pan and I've pulled it off of the heat. I've added a little bit of soy sauce to the pan and then I'm gonna deglaze it with a little bit of uh, sangria. And just, just use that as a little bit of a sauce to drizzle over the top of the scallops. Okay, so now we're gonna finish our salad. We've got our greens. I put a little bit of zest in there. I'm gonna pour our apples into that. Just re-stir our dressing here a little bit. Pour our dressing all over that real well. And basically, and then I um, want to toss it and add about a, the half of the lemon here that we zested. I'm gonna squeeze that lemon into that to add some more lemon to it. And I probably would like just a little bit more zest in there. I'm gonna zest just a little bit more into the salad as well. I want to have a really nice lemon flavor on that. And then we also want to zest some of this lemon on top of our scallops as well. So we'll zest those on there, put that on there and plate it up. So that's our salad. And we plated it up here. I'm just going to take a little bit of our, our reduction here of the deglaze on the pan that we've got, which is our 
soy sauce and sangria. I'm gonna spend just a little bit of that on each one as well. To add a little bit more flavor to the scallops. And there we are, there's our cr crunchy apple salad with uh, sea scallops. So thank you for joining us, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any comments, please leave it so we can do some recipes as well that you'd like to see in the future.